This week in the Missouri Senate, we review yet another issue from this past session that could be a part of next year's regular legislative session. We had some foreign pieces in there. That was a big part. Best way to say it, at some point they were trying to add a lot more ballot candy than what they had. Lawmakers have been moving towards some sort of change to how initiative petitions work in our state. At the same time, there are those who believe the system works just fine as is. Missouri senators spent part of this year's session discussing House Joint Resolution 43, a measure that would have asked voters to decide the threshold for the number of signatures that would be needed to put a question on a future ballot. Senator Sandy Crawford of Buffalo handled this legislation in the upper chamber. She says there were a lot of changes made to the proposal by the time the Missouri Senate saw it in late April. At the threshold we ended up at, we really didn't think that piece in the legislation was going to matter one way or the other. We did not think it mattered. And so in negotiations, we decided that was not a hill we were going to die on. Missouri Senate Minority Floor Leader John Rizzo of Independence adds, as with several measures this year, the finished product looked different than what was originally introduced. We were always going to be in a position of not getting exactly what we wanted, but the backstop and the thing that we are putting our faith in is the people at the ballot box, and the real thing that we were looking for was a fair fight. We believe that even though it's probably got some stuff in there that we don't like, it's a more fair fight than what we would have gotten. Currently, initiative petitions need signatures from 8% of voters in two-thirds of the state's congressional districts in order to place an amendment to the Missouri Constitution on the ballot, and signatures from 5% of voters in two-thirds of the state's congressional districts in order to place a statutory change on the ballot. Senator Crawford says during Missouri's Senate discussion on the resolution, a change was made that would have made it more difficult for the legislature to undo something put into place by the voters. I think that's a big reason why we have a lot of changes in the Constitution now. And so I think that was an attempt to say, hey, let's tie our own hands a little bit. Maybe some of these initiatives will go into law instead of the Constitution. It's really hard to keep everybody in this building happy, actually impossible. So we're just trying to keep all the frogs in the wheelbarrow. Senator Rizzo says the question became how much of a majority is needed. If you do the five out of eight, which is what there are some that kind of want to do just five out of eight, which in my opinion, and I think most of us would agree, would be much higher threshold than 57%. Medicaid expansion probably wouldn't pass. I believe clean and cleaner Missouri. It's hard to decide, but the, the ones that were probably between that 50 to 52 wouldn't pass if it was just five out of eight. Ultimately, House Joint Resolution 43 ran out of time this year. There are other proposals pre-filed for the next legislative session. The second regular session of the 102nd General Assembly will begin at noon on Wednesday, January 3rd. And remember, you can follow these and other issues facing the Missouri Senate, plus see a list of all pre-filed Missouri Senate legislation by visiting our website, senate.mo.gov. Reporting from the state capitol, I'm Dean Morgan.